Calling all units, calling all units. Donut Shot has a fresh dozen. Go ahead and take a 1040. It, you said firearms training. Now, talk to me about firearms. We, you know, a lot of us know, you know, we look at the UK or we look at, mm. at, at, at Europe, a lot of Europe, and don't see firearms yeah, as far yeah. as America. You know, everybody's got yeah. two or three of them on them at all times. Yeah. Um, what uh, What do you guys do for firearms or how's that work out? All right. So when, uh, kind of when we, uh, when I got into that firearms, uh, Thing. When I was at the academy, it wasn't a lot of firearms training then. But uh, then we, there was a, an assignment that came up with the Reykjavik airport, so we had to have presence there because of international flights, and mm -hmm. uh, so we were armed, uh, and uh, we did some training around that. You know, it was just Glock. It was so a, so it's a it's a sidearm on yeah. a belt, yeah. pistol belt, just like you would see an American yeah. police officer. Yeah. Um, and we would just suit up, you know, there was a, a gun safe at the police station. Uh, but then as we kind of uh, move nearer to, you know, today, uh, kind of these uh, gun uh, or firearms in the cars, a few years ago they were, there were uh, these safes put in the car and you got a number from dispatch if you need to be armed. And it, it would have to go through, you know, a process. And uh, and steadily they've they increased you know the firearms training. So for so citizens in so as a as a citizen in or a civilian a person in in Iceland, it's mostly uh, hunting right yeah, hunting yeah. weapons yeah. weapons for hunting and and but otherwise there's no you're, you're not really there's not concealed carry no, where you're no. carrying handguns. No. Do do citizens or residents of Iceland? Possess handguns? Yeah, some yes. We have a fair amount, but but there are strict strict laws. Strict around laws that. as far as purchasing or yeah, importing. Yeah. And, them. and 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 uh, importing. A few years ago, uh, the justice minister he put a ban on import on handguns. Okay. So, uh, like, if you owned a Glock after that time, it, it you know quadrupled in price. Oh, okay. Because. You couldn't import any handguns after that point. Is that still in effect? Today? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so handguns, the the faucet got turned off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just have hunting style rifles yeah, yeah. that are allowed to be purchased through yes. brokers or stores here, yeah. um, that they are carried in their house. Yeah. Or through travel, probably. I'm making assumptions now. Yeah. Through travel to hunt. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. So you have to have a, if you have two firearms or more, you have to have a safe and you just can't show up and, and buy a fire, firearm. You have to have gone through the process and, mm -hmm. and training before you can buy the firearm. Okay. And so you've gone through that training, you can buy the firearm, but then you have to do another training if you want to go hunting. Mm -hmm. And so you start off with uh, a, a license. So that's 22 caliber rifle and a uh, uh, just single, no, double shotgun. Then you, after a year, you can move up to the B portion. Then you can get, go up to a higher uh, caliber. So, so you have to go through time yeah, as yeah. well as trainings. Yeah. Yeah. And to, then you could, you know, get a pump action shotgun or a... Or wow. All the way, yeah, just a pump, cap, pump, uh, pump action shotgun. Yeah. When I think in Florida, we used to be allowed to just walk into a Walmart and buy yeah, a pump yeah. action shotgun. Nah, and, it's not true. You know, Don't have, do that here. Have, yeah. When you're 18, go buy yourself yeah. a pump, pump yeah. action shotgun. I can't even talk. Um, that's, uh, so, all right, so so just to kind of give listeners background of, of where what you guys are running into aside from perhaps illegal firearms yeah, that, we, are, we've that got are some of those yeah in society or yeah. or out there probably not as prevalent as America no, no but um but but you you go to things so the way you explained it you said there's a safe in the car with a firearm is yeah. that every car yeah so yeah, most, of them, most of them most of them you know if we like first responders, patrol mm -hmm. cars, you know, then we have, you know, a bunch of other police cars that, you know, are not first responders. Oh, yeah. okay. So, so, and so you say you'll get a number through dispatch. So you're on the way to a call. Yeah. That dispatch says, you're going to probably need a gun for this. Yeah. They give you a code. 
you get it out prior to. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have to, you know, stop over somewhere and, and yeah, mount up, mount up because yeah. when you're you when you're uh, suiting up for to use a firearm, then we have to put on added Jet protection, uh, Kevlar helmet. Wow, that's oh. that's you know, I just don't put on a gun and. Yeah, I, I have to do all these because things. you're not necessarily already wearing. Uh, we have vest. we have body armor. You have body armor yeah. that you're wearing daily, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but without a firearm. Yeah, so I would put on the on the ceramic plate. And okay, a, new, a better, yeah, yeah. higher caliber, yeah. Um, and then you'd put on uh, like a helmet. Yeah, um, and then you'd show up to a call. Yeah. <laughs> Oddly enough, I I never, I never suited up for. <laughs> really? No. Okay. So so it's so it's fairly rare. That, that that it's increasing of, it's it's increasing yeah, yeah, yeah with with hunting rifles with illegal handguns uh, or usually uh, usually it's incident involving knives there's a okay. lot of knife problem but we, okay we are getting so so a firearms knife, a hot a hot knife call yeah they'll pass on the code to get a yeah. firearm because yeah. you want to kind of level up yeah you yeah. know you don't want to go hands-on no with a guy no, swinging no. a knife but you but usually uh swat would be also called and they would at least show up with a you know one of these rubber a baton yeah like a, a rubber yeah, like a pellet, uh, pellet gun yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah like a bean bag or, yeah, a, it's, or it's a yellow rifle so okay but usually when they when people see that they're, you know, they're not gonna mess around they they know they're gonna yeah. hurt yeah they, okay so all right yeah, I mean this this is kind of getting into the to the nuts of it right here <laughs> the the interesting stuff that I think a lot of people are going to be curious about um the, so this so the SWAT or special operations type um there are they also out in the cars or are yeah, they like yeah. part time where they have to get called in yeah they're but usually uh they have you know I don't know one or two cars so they're they're out there on on patrol mm -hmm. Uh, but they do a lot of training, so they're really specialized. Okay. So, uh, so they wouldn't, you know, show up, you know, at a, someone stealing from a store or something. Okay. But you know, they they are called if it's if it's a high incident, if it, if it's involved uh, involves a gun or a knife or or you know uh, just or just or, a large disturbance, maybe yeah, at yeah, a exactly, pub yeah. or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Guys yeah. breaking beer bottles. Yeah, or, exactly. Yeah. Or, you know, throwing stuff, yeah. at, you know, so, okay. So yeah, they're, they're just a high risk. Yeah. It's a, they're, they're reserved for more high, high risk incidents yeah. Yeah. that they're going to be dispatched out to or sent out to. Hey, what's up guys. If you like that clip, go over and check out the full episode at donut shop podcast link is down below in the description. 